It's based on our tradition. I agree. I agree. But what and it was preserved. Yeah. So it's Simply not stating that a society was yeah. illiterate yeah. doesn't prove yeah. that Muhammad was yeah. illiterate. Yeah. No, we're just trying to recap where we are. We're trying to recap the, the, the conversation. The conversation went all over the place. Right, so I'm trying to agree with you. Yeah, let's start from that point. Let's say Muhammad was illiterate. He, he brought forth a revelation which changed Each Arabic society out. and, in fact, the extended societies to the Caliphate. But are you no, saying that because of the, the Islamic Empire, that the Quran and Muhammad's uh, prophecy is true? What I'm saying is this: if you, are, if a, if a person chose to say Prophet Muhammad was not a prophet, okay, I could I could respect your position. Then you only have one choice. Like a, that is, according like to your logic, like a, as a logical, yeah. intelligent man, Just you yeah. only have one choice that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was some exceptional genius. From a man of his background, just a minute, Ahmad, one second. A man of his background to make that impact within 23 years, master the entire Arabian Peninsula, and his influence, his influence over spill into the global world. You know where I'm from? I say the Caribbean. Yeah, I'm from the Caribbean. That guy is one of my His influence, we're, nice we're down in the Caribbean. Yeah, we're people now, social, children, so we young people, women, from other. various backgrounds, <coughs> want to be like him because he's a model of success. Now, the question is, you have only two choices. My argument to you is two choices. This you can say he's this a prophet who you don't agree with, Iran. you don't respect, he's you don't follow, that's this fine. Or he's not a prophet, he is some exceptional genius. Now if you take the third option, like my mind here, like my mind here, you're going to be under a lot of fire. Okay, I mean, this is I'll give you my choice. First of all, that's a false Which, choice. You know, uh, it's not a two-option situation. He could, he could still be a reasonably influential person of his time, but in fact, the people after him exploded his ideas beyond his even his own capability. So he doesn't have to be a prophet, but others came, greater men came and stood on his shoulders and took the next step and went even beyond that. So his influence around the world, Jesus has influence around the world, uh, Cyrus has uh, influences no, around the world. The only influence. Buddha has influence all around the world. I agree with all that. That doesn't. Yeah, so that, all be right. Exactly. Right. So, so first of all, him being exceptional, he may have been an exceptional person for his time, but that doesn't mean he was a prophet.